Hello everyone. Today I'm not going to share tips and tricks for just one particular plan. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than my other videos. This would be my first video of growing plants from the scratch. These two plants that I'm going to grow from the scratch are uh, are Jamaican cherry and Rasina cordialine. Growing plants from the scratch is very exciting but sometimes it's very exhausting. What uh, sometimes what happen is that the seeds that we grow doesn't germinate and rot and some seeds are so grower. So there's a very thin line between them. Before moving further I'd like to tell you guys is that if you're growing plants from the seed you should be very careful and uh, you should use coco peat. You ask you must be wondering why coco peat? Coco peat is great to start a seedling as it holds a lot of moisture in it and seeds need moisture to germinate and if you don't want only coco peat you can fill the pot with a potting mix and you can uh, spray it a little uh, thin layer of coco peat and then put the seeds in it and then cover it with a layer of salt. I'm going to show you both ways so let's get started. So. Dracaena cordyline is a popular house plant. It is mostly propagated by cuttings, but I am going to grow it from the seed. Uh, this is the first time that I am going to grow a plant from the scratch. Uh, I mean, th this is the first time I am going to grow Dracaena from the seed. I had this plant last year, but uh, I bought it from the nursery. So few days back, when I went to my office terrace, terrace of my office, and I saw these big plants, and I was mesmerized, and now. And then I noticed that the Dracaena has flowers that develop into seeds. That has developed into seeds. And that was the first time that I saw Dracaena seeds. Moving on, uh, my friend plucked those seeds from me. And now I am going to grow them. Uh, I, I hope I will be successful. Uh, so this is my potting mix. I added... Uh, uh, this is my potting mix. I added I added 40% garden soil, 30% vermicompost, and 15% vermicompost, 50% uh, perlite. And what I'm gonna do is fill the pot with this mix and spread a layer of coco peat. Let me show you. This is coco peat. I'm going to spread a layer of it on top of it. In there and now I'm going to put the seeds in it these are some seeds that I got don't put it all together okay and now I'm going to add cocoa peat a very thin layer of it Okay, um, I made a mistake. Actually, uh, we should water it first. I'm gonna water first. It's my bad, I made a mistake. Now I'm going to add water. Now I'm going to put the seeds. I have just these three seeds and now I'm gonna spread what uh, cover it with a layer of coco peat very thin layer huh very thin only just the seeds to be covered now the seeds are covered now I'm gonna spray water and always remember to always keep the soil moist hmm? you know and water it and the next step is very important uh, we make a lot of mistakes when we grow seed uh, from plant from a seed so uh, some things you must remember one uh, don't keep the pot in a, a very uh, direct sun you know it's not very sunny location keep the pot in a partial shade or shady area but indirect light like this you see this is a window i can keep it here 
where it gets a, lo a lot of sun but not direct sun. Always keep the soil moist and don't disturb the seed. Uh, you know, when I say don't disturb the seed, it means that don't keep checking it, like it, removing the uh, top of it mm. and just one, seeing if it, it if it has developed, uh, in, it, you know, germination and uh, and don't just uh, pick it out or whatever okay just don't disturb it and just uh, keep it aside like this i'm gonna keep it here see i'm gonna keep it here so next i'm going to grow these jamaican cherries jamaican cherry is a fast growing tiny evergreen these fruits are loved by birds and squirrels plus it is very easy to grow uh, so I was walking, uh, I was going to office and I noticed these cherry like fruits uh, in my parking. I started collecting them and decided to grow them. Then I searched about it. Uh, but I won't suggest you to eat it. Before eating it, please ask your doctor and please don't uh, eat it without asking anybody, okay? Asking your doctor is a good thing to do. So again, um, I, I'm going to fill the pot with the same potting soil mix. Spread a little layer of cocoa peat. Spread it. And I'm going to, you know, uh, like the, see, these are the seeds. If you press it, yeah, yeah, so much of it. Look, these are the seeds just spread it and what I'm going to do is you know I it's very uh, tricky part see these are the these are a lot of seeds there are a lot of them see So now what I'm gonna do is just put it directly, yeah, and then cover it with a so layer of soil. And you know what? I'm just going to keep this one with me. I'm going to just uh, put it directly in cocoa peat, only cocoa peat. So this it must keep it. Let's keep it aside and uh, sprinkle water. Always remember, I, as I told you before, don't keep it in a sunny location. Keep it in bright, indirect light, and uh, keep the soil moist, and uh, uh, and just uh, uh, just don't disturb the seeds and wait. Okay, you have to be patient when you're growing plants from the seed, and uh, that's it. Uh, it's a wrap. I'll make an update video. Thank you for watching. I hope you like it. See you in the next video. Till then, talk to your plants. Bye and wish me luck. Huh? Bye.